Hello, in this video, we'll have a look on how you create a SharePoint app catalog to your tenant. So first of all, you need to be a tenant administrator. And then from the admin center, you need to move to the SharePoint admin uh, center. So you can actually extend the admin center section in here and move to SharePoint side. This will redirect you by default to the modern SharePoint UIs, but unfortunately, you cannot actually manage um, app catalog yet, at least uh, from the modern admin UI. So you need to move back on the classic SharePoint admin UIs or admin center. And from here, you can absolutely say the existing site collections and you can say a classic set of management settings in here. One of the settings on the left navigation is apps. And from here, we can actually say that within this particular tenant, if we click app catalog, we can actually see that in this particular tenant, there is no app catalog site created uh, for this tenant. So we want to create a new app catalog site. So let's actually keep that as a default setting. Click OK. And that's going to start creation process uh, after uh, filling up a form for creating that app catalog site within your tenant. Every single tenant can only have a one app catalog site. Uh, so it is a tenant specific thing. And in my case, I'm going to use uh, the tenant name, sites, and apps as the URL. And in here, I'm going to use my uh, current account uh, as the administrator. So Megan Bowen, uh, in my case, uh, whoever is the administrator or who, whatever, who, which accounts you actually want to use as an administrator for your tenant, uh, sorry, uh, the Office 365 and the SharePoint app catalog. So we're going to use English as the language, uh, time zone is fine, and the server resource quota doesn't actually matter, so I'm going to put zero here. Uh, it is an old setting which has no meaning whatsoever anymore. So there we go, default settings, clicking OK, and that's going to then start the process of creating a site collection or an app catalog site collection. This process will take a while. So uh, we can actually uh, follow up on uh, the creation of the app catalog by going to the site collections view. And you have to be again on the classic admin UIs to be able to see that. And here, if we refresh uh, the UI a few times, we can actually see when the app catalog creation process is starting. And then we can actually see when the app catalog creation uh, is completed. And uh, now we can actually see that there's the site collection creation process now started and there's a nice GIF animation moving over there. It is being created and now the creation might actually take quite a few minutes and because this is a classic SharePoint site collection, so it's not as fast as modern communication site or group associated team site. So it might take up to 10 to 15 minutes even to create that site collection. When it's available, uh, you can then use the app catalog uh, and tenant app catalog to deploy custom SharePoint extensions like SharePoint Framework Solutions and also SharePoint add-ins. Uh, please note also there might be 20-30 minute delay until the app catalog is actually visible for API usage. So if you're using, for example, the SharePoint provisioning service for provisioning uh, solutions which have SharePoint Framework uh, content and SharePoint Framework customization inside of them, you need to still wait roughly 20 to 30 minutes after the site collection is created before we can before you can use the automation tooling. But let's actually wait until uh, this is, uh, well, you will see uh, the site collection URL in blue whenever the site collection creation and the app catalog creation is completed. And at that point, you are then good to go. Thank you. Thank you.